Today's video, I want to go over one of the most classic ways to blitz in Madden, and it is out of the play DB Fire 2. This can be found in the dollar formation. We're in the Kansas City Chiefs uh, defensive playbook. If you guys want to get my entire dollar defense viewbook, it's the clear cut best defense in this game. You can get access to that by being a Patreon member. It's only $10 to join the Patreon. It gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive viewbooks, as well as all the updates to them, anything that we drop exclusively for members. You can get access to that uh, for just $10. The link's going to be down in the description, and I guarantee it's going to make you a better Madden player. What we're going to be doing uh, out of this DB Fire 2 is kind of a different setup maybe than we've ever done. We're going to be turning auto flip defense play call off. We're going to have our auto alignment on base. And then we're going to do something a little different with DB Fire 2. So as you can see with auto flip off, this guy on the right side is always going to come down to the line of scrimmage like this. So literally all we're going to do is we're just going to pinch our defensive line and we're going to stand about right here. And what you're going to see is when you leave that cornerback backed off, it's going to come in at a significantly higher success rate than if you press him. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I press my defense, while this can still come in, I just find that it's not as effective. As you can see right there, the pressure is not as consistent. Now, the other thing that I would say about this is sometimes in Madden, it's not necessarily about getting somebody free, but it's about giving the illusion of pressure. And this defense can certainly do that with a press alignment. But what I love is just that backed off corner. I think that's super, super effective. Now, another thing that you can do with this is you can actually back off the slot corner on the right, kind of like you would if you were running the free safety zone blitz uh, at a dollar and stand about right here. And as you can see, we can, we can still trigger the pressure to come in off of the left side. This can also trigger some really cool stuff like a gap pressures from time to time, just depends on how they slide. Um, but the beauty of this is, as you can see, we can now make this look just like the free safety zone blitz, but it's a slightly different blitzing concept and you can still go with the coverage, you know, maybe something, maybe you want to do something like, uh, this right here in behind it. And like I said, this looks exactly the same as the free safety zone blitz. You just manually back off one of the slot corners. And a lot of times the pressure is going to eventually get there right there. Didn't work properly. Didn't work like we wanted it to, but it is what it is. It's obviously practice mode. This blitz is a little better in game. Another thing you can do uh, is you can leave the defensive line spread with this. This is an older setup out of this. And a lot of times this will still come in, as you can see. One of the biggest tips that I have for you with DB Fire 2 and really any Blitz defense this year is try uh, leaving them backed off. If you leave them backed off like the line of scrimmage, maybe three or four uh, steps, I actually think it makes this Blitz significantly better. As you can see, we get double pressure out of this just by doing that simple step. So um, just maybe something for you to try out. The, the You can just literally just back this guy off. And then, like I said, you, you don't have to touch the other guy. And then you could just individually press on the outside. And, and this is actually not that complicated uh, to set up. You can get the setup done pretty quickly. As you can see, DB Fire 2 goes from being, you know, nobody free when we press to when we don't press, we're able to get double edge pressure. So that's the beauty of, you know, just kind of little things like this. And hopefully this video helps you uh, just understand a little bit more about the blitzing logic in Madden 24. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for the the Patreon is going to be down in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and hopefully we'll see you guys over at the Patreon page.